Hey there, friends. This is going to be like a warp speed fast video for you guys, but I wanted to drop something out pretty quick. First of all, I am working on the video that I told you guys about involving the CMMG rifle and the Anderson uh, manufacturing rifle. That's kind of what I'm working on right now. I've got some cool little toys that I'm trying to make some comparisons, but that's not why I put this video together. Real, real quick, like, I want to say that for the first time in probably my adult life, I can honestly say that I finally approve of at least where a very small percentage of my very own tax dollars are going today. Our brand new Republican governor, Jeff Landry, in the great state of Louisiana, we finally got rid of that idiot that kept vetoing our constitutional carry bills. Fingers crossed right now for Landry to actually make it happen finally, but nevertheless, Republican Governor Jeff Landry, our brand new governor for only a month now, is in the process of sending our Louisiana National Guard troops, some of them, down to the Texas border to assist Texas because they are our neighbors and we are only hundreds of miles from the border. We're sending Louisiana National Guard troops down there to assist in the securing of our border since our federal government has abandoned all their responsibilities. Not only that, the federal government is actually trying to aid, obviously, in getting these people through the border illegally. We know why. It's to create a, uh, a let's just call it a voting base, because they're seeing their current voting base disappear because of the, quote, leadership they have at the top. The only way to fix that is to transplant it, to change it, to make a transition to a totally different group of people, what better way to do that than allow illegal aliens from all over the world to come in through our southern border, again, illegally. So that is the ultimate goal. Otherwise, why else would you do that? It's, it's mind-boggling to me that our politicians in Washington, D.C., with this pathetic bill that they just attempt, or they're in the process of attempting to pass, that they just put out, like they finally let us read the text and the wording in it, it's pathetic to me that these people would allow the security of America, which includes these people's friends and families, to be put at risk for the sole purpose of trying to retain the positions they have in office. I don't know if I've ever been more disappointed in a group of people in those that would sacrifice the safety of their own friends and family just to get reelected. Amazing to me. But again, I wanted to say a big hat tip to Jeff Landry and to all of you out there who belong to states whose governors are also sending assistance to Texas because the federal government has abandoned their, their responsibility of keeping our border secure. Hat tip, tip to all of your governors out there. Please let your governors know you appreciate that. I will be doing that. I will be looking for some links and posting in the video description down below of how you can thank at least our governor here in the state of Louisiana. For those of you whose governors are also lending that kind of assistance, if you will let me know, I will also take a way to contact their offices and post those as well. I really want these people to understand that we appreciate what they are doing to try to keep America safe since the actual government won't do it. I want to remind people also that the states created the government. The government did not create the states. There were 13 states in the United States who formed the federal government. The federal government has now tried to usurp all of that power and now act like they are the ones in control. I think this country needs a strong, stern civics lesson. And I don't just mean in the schools. I think we need to somehow figure out a way to get the message back to Washington, D.C. that you people are secondary. Our states come first. The federal government comes second. And they need to also realize that the Constitution limits the federal government's powers. It does not create powers for us, or at least create rights for us. It recognizes the rights that we have and limits the government's powers of not being able to infringe upon our rights. They have that all wrong at the federal level. They believe that they are the bosses. They believe that they are the tip of the spear. 
This is the most useless piece of human beings that I have ever seen in my entire life. I'm so disgusted with everybody, everybody at that federal level, because those who oppose it, those who would oppose this crazy bill that's sitting out there, I need you to be more vocal. I, I, I think Mike Lee, Senator Mike Lee, is the only person that I saw be really loudly outspoken today about this horrible, stupid new bill that does nothing more than fund our federal government to let it get fatter and more bloated, fund Ukraine, fund Israel, fund um, Palestine or the Palestinians. It's sending money everywhere else and doing nothing to secure our border. So it's time we remind people that there is a civics lesson that needs to be had. And I don't care where it starts. I don't care if it starts here. I don't care if it starts in your house. I don't care if it starts in your schoolhouse, at your office. It doesn't matter. There is a civics lesson that needs to be had, and people need to remind people how this country came about and how it needs to continue, because no change has been made. It's been a philosophical change and one up here, but no actual change has never taken place. We've allowed the federal government to take that power and to take the position that they have right now and ruin the rest of the country. And if this southern border debacle is not a good example of what's wrong with this federal government, I can't give you another one. God save the queen, man. I'm sorry, I thought this was America.